Hey everyone, today I'm going to help you complete SAM Project 1A Excel Module 10 Data Analysis with Power Tools. Let's get started. You're going to download your star file, your support file, and then you're going to copy the expected file name. Go to File, save it as brand new. Next, to be able to work on this worksheet, you want to make sure you have Developer and Power Pivot in your ribbon, and if you don't have them, right click on ribbon and then you're going to click on customize the ribbon and then under main tabs you want to scroll down and make sure developer and power pivots are checked and then you can click okay for our first step we're going to go to home page and then right here where it says link don't click on the link but click on the cell c4 and then right click we're going to get rid of this link scroll down it says remove hyperlink and then press on that Next, we have to add links to these three cells. So first, right click on customers, which is C5, and then you're going to click on link right there. And then this will pop up. You're going to click the second option, and then you're going to click on customers, and then click OK. And then right click on contacts, go to link, click on contacts, click OK. Right click on invoice, link, and then invoices. There we go. Next, where it says archive data, you're going to right click on this and then we're going to link it outside of this document. So you're going to click on existing file and then you're going to click on your support file. If you can't find it, you can click on browse for file and then your file explorer should come up and you can select it from there. You click on your support file and now it's linked. Next, right click on it again and go to edit hyperlink. And here you want to press on screen tip. And then in here, you want to type in open an archive of contract data. I'm going to copy and paste it and then click OK. Click OK again. And C9, where it says Franklin National Website, right click on that. We're going to click on link once again. And here we're going to type in www.fn.example.com, where it says address, and then click OK. And then where it says contact Franklin National, right click on that, go to link, and then we're going to go to email address. And here you want to put info at fn.example.com, and then click OK. Now, we're going to go to Developer, and then you're going to click on Record Macro. Press on this, and then for the macro name, it should be Add Customer. I'm going to copy and paste. And then just click OK. And now your macro is recording. So now you're going to click on the Customer Sheet, and then scroll all the way down. We're going to highlight Row 42, and then right click before you press on insert, hover over the arrow, and then you're gonna click on table row below, just like that, and then you can stop your recording. Then go back to home page. You're going to right click on add customer. You're going to click on assign macro, and you're going to click on add customer, the one we just made, and then click okay. And now when you press on this, it'll bring you to the customer's worksheet and it's going to add a brand new row just like that all right now we repeat these steps for add contract and add invoice but the macros are already created so you just want to right click and then assign macro you're going to for this one you're going to click on add contract and then okay and then right click on add invoice assign macro and then you just want to match it up okay all right now you're going to click on customers worksheet and then go to power pivot click on manage and then here just click on pivot table and then click ok all right now on this new sheet we're going to rename it to contracts by city now we're going to edit the pivot table fields first you're going to drag city down to rows so scroll down okay so under customer you're going to find city Drag this down to rows and then scroll back up 
where it says contract and you're going to find signing date and you're going to drag this to columns and then still under contract you're going to find contract amount and we're going to drag this to values if this comes up go ahead and press auto detect it gets your chart looking as close as it is in the final form next you want to click on any of the years so let's say 2021 right click on this click on group and then here make sure you want to deselect month just keep quarters and years and then click ok and just to check if it did the same thing yep ok and then go to design you're going to go to subtotals and then click on do not show to subtotals select your entire chart like so and then go to home and make sure it's on currency with two decimal places and the dollar sign and if it doesn't have it just press on increase decimal and then the dollar sign all right, now we're gonna go back to Power Pivot. We're gonna click on Manage, and then we're gonna click on Pivot Table again, and then New Worksheet, okay. All right, this one is going to be renamed to Invoices by Month. I'm going to copy and paste, and Enter. Now for this table, we're going to, we're gonna look under Contract, Find Signing Date, and drag it down to rows and then scroll down to where it says invoice and you're going to look for invoice paid and drag this down to columns and then for values you're going to select invoice amount drag it down to values and then you can click on auto detect and it'll create the relationships for you close and now so under contract look for contract type and we're going to drag this down to filters. You're going to right click on one of the dates again, go to group. And here we're going to only keep months and years, deselect quarters and then click okay. Repeat the step as we did last time, select your table and then go to home and make sure it's on currency with two decimal places and the dollar sign. Okay. Now we're going to change the column heading so for c4 this is going to be called unpaid enter for d4 this is going to be called paid enter and then so where it says contract type there's a drop down menu click on it and open the all and we're going to look for security plan press on select multiple items and then select security plan and security security plan for apartment building and then press OK. And that should reduce your chart to just those items. All right, now we're on the last few steps. So now click on the customer's worksheet. We're going to be working from, from J2 to K5. So in K3, you're going to press equal and then go to contracts by city. And then you're going to click on j9 so where it says atlanta at grand total and then just press enter and the data will be inserted for you in k4 we're going to press on equal go back to contracts by city here we're going to select j16 and then enter and then for k5 equal sign contracts by city here it's going to be j 20. Enter. There you go. Go to File. Under Save, you want to make sure it says Excel Macro Enabled Workbook. Otherwise, the macro work that we did is not going to work. And if it's not, just click the arrow and try to look for it. And then Save. I just resubmitted it and I got a 29 and it says I didn't link the correct file, but I'm pretty sure I did. It must be something wrong with my laptop. But um, thank you for watching this video. I hope you get a really good grade as well. As you can see, a 29 out of 30 is guaranteed. So I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching. Bye!